So now we're going to make ourselves a mousetrap arm. This is going to be exactly like the standard mousetrap arm, but it's going to be a good approximation and good enough for you to make uh, attachments for it. So we're again make a new document and create part studio. I'm going to move this inside of here. I'm going to rename this mouse trap arm. I'm going to also take and start a new sketch. I'll make this sketch on the front surface. And I'm going to take a look. So I'm looking at the front surface. And I'm going to draw the rough outline of what I'm looking for. So let's just use the line tool. Go up, over, I'm going to snap so it's parallel, down, over a little bit, then back up again, back over again, back down again, and then back over. So before I put any dimensions in, I'm going to take and use a midpoint constraint. Or sorry, I'm going to use a vertical constraint. Using the center. And nope, nope. We're gonna use a horizontal constraint. Say this is horizontal to here. We're gonna use an equal constraint. Say this is equal to this. We are going to use we're gonna do a dimension. Let's we'll start dimensioning. So I'm gonna dimension this leg to the thickness of the wire, which is 0.072. And then I'm going to do the overall size. Which is 1.553. And then I'm going to build a overall length of 1.825. I know this dimension here is going to be 0 0.072. And now I'm going to use a construction line. So I'm going to make a line from the origin going up. I'm going to find the midpoint. I'm going to hit escape out of that line. And I'm going to force this line to be vertical. And that should force everything to be centered. And now I'm going to take and extrude this. 0.072. And instead of just going one direction, we're going to use symmetric. That way, the origin stays in the center of my shape. That's going to be nice for our further work. So now I need to make an arm across the thing. And it's important that it's a circle. So I'm going to start a sketch on this face. I'm going to draw a circle. And under circles, I believe there's a three-point circle, which is great, because I can say this thing, this circle, this circle, and that circle. And if I force this to be tangent, to these three sides, it should turn black. I'll go Control-Z. I'm going to take a look and see. I'm going to tangent this circle to this wall. There we go. That has made it black. We're good. I'm going to take and now extrude. And instead of blind, we're going to go to next. 
And that's going to just fill in the whole thing. And again, I'm going to change this guy's color to make him more mouse trappy. Double click on the color swatch. I'm going to pick like that color. Checkbox. I'm going to rename this to mousetrap arm. And now my last step is I'm going to go to my assembly. I'm going to now insert a mousetrap arm into my assembly. And we're going to put a rotational mate from on this axis. We're going to use the and that axis. And then we need to offset it. I'm going to on top. And I'm going to use the table to guess and check. So 1.5. Maybe a little less than that. 1.5. Four. And it's okay that this is inside of here because really the mousetrap is kind of, um, it's not quite right, but we can adjust our parts. And we're gonna go limits. We're going to set the Z angle, so minimum Z angle. Oh, there we go. Uh, there we go. I'm going to go this revolute. I'm going to go the minimum here is going to be um, negative 90 and go positive 90. And I'm gonna turn off limits, let me check. Oh, and something is not right. So I'm gonna delete that revolution. Now let's try it in. We're gonna use a rotational constraint with this guy. Actually, that looks fine. Check. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to finish this video. I'll figure out what I did wrong, and then I'll put that in the next video.